हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला पेपर ट्वेल्व एनवायरमेंट मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल ट्वेंटी फोर कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज द मॉड्यूल विल कवर इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज स्मार्ट सिटीज अराउंड द वर्ल्ड स्मार्ट सिटीज इन इंडिया स्मार्ट सिटी फीचर्स कवरेज एंड ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्मार्ट सिटीज एंड फाइनली स्ट्रेटर्जी फॉर डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ द स्मार्ट सिटीज सो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द कंसेप्ट एज वी ऑल नो द वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग इंटेंस अर्बन माइग्रेशन ओवर द लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ड्यू टू दिस द सिटीज are developing in much unplanned and unorganized manner to overcome this issue the developed countries have tested several solutions as a consequence of these solutions the smart city concept have arrived under this concept the old cities have been revived or redesigned and some brand new cities are being built up with modern technologies which as which are fully planned and oriented to be smart city concept the older cities are the more complex and overcrowded especially in china and india the basic mechanism of smart city development is a combination of the latest high end information and communication technologies with architectural design which is fully integrated into a ubiquitous urban environment the components of smart cities are smart transport smart agriculture smart energy smart management smart buildings and smart governance as predicted in this pictorial diagram now the core infrastructure elements in a smart city the core infrastructure elements in a smart city are sufficient water supply guaranteed electric supply proper sanitation facilities including solid waste management well organized urban mobility and public transport affordable houses especially for poor sound it connectivity and digitalization e governance with participation of citizens sustainable environment safe and secure environment especially for women children and the elderly and well organized basic facilities such as health and education smart cities around the world the list of top 7 smart cities around the world with their major strengths as per cities in motion index 2000 17 is shown here as per this the number 1 is new york city the major strength is has strong economic status well planned car sharing services education innovative economies internet speed and wifi hotspots then the second one is san francisco smart parking vehicle sharing services internet speed 41% renewable energy public charging stations for electric vehicles pedestrians and bikers for finding the most efficient travel routes then the third one is london london also features underground wifi smart parking services oyster card system utilized innovative technology to facilitate smartphone uses along with improving health of its citizens and environmental services next one is paris it has innovation greenery international outreach and digitization of government activities paris is another big player in utilizing green and renewable energy with a large portion of the city's public transportation running on clean fuel number 5th is stockholm stockholm ranks high in citizen participation 
with digitization of government and internet speed high speed trains up to 2000 city buses 1000 local trains and trolleys most public transportation vehicles receive their fuel from two wastewater treatment plants producing biodiesel then sixth one is tokyo it has companies like panasonic tokyo gas and accenture to develop a sub urban smart town that produces zero carbon emissions and was powered completely by renewables also made a green island by meeting a previously set goal of planting 1 million trees by 2015 then seventh one is amsterdam amsterdam utilize renewable energy including electric trucks that pick up garbage along with solar panels powering bus stops billboards and lights thousand of businesses and households have been modified with energy efficient roof roofing insulation automatically dimming light switches smart meters and ultra low energy led lights we are discussing smart cities in india in the thoughts of any urban citizen of india the mean of a smart city is comprehensive development of the four pillars these four pillars are institutional physical social and economic infrastructure in the approach to the smart cities mission the objective is to promote cities that provide core infrastructure and give a decent quality of life to its citizens a clean and sustainable environment and application of smart solutions main approaches of smart solutions are number 1 e governance and citizen services which includes public information grievance mechanism electronic services delivery citizen engagement citizens are considered as cities eye and ear video crime monitoring etc the another main approach is waste management which includes waste to fuel and energy waste to compost waste water to treated water and recycling and reduction of construction and demolition waste then comes the water management which includes water quality monitoring leakage identification and smart meter and management then another major is energy management which includes smart meters and management renewable sources of energy and energy efficiency and green buildings then comes the urban mobility which includes smart parking intelligent traffic management and integrated multimodal transport then smart city features we are discussing these smart city features in light of the guidelines given by ministry of housing and urban affairs government of india for the construction of smart cities in india the guidelines say promoting mixed land use in area based developments housing and inclusiveness expand housing opportunities for all creating walkable localities which means reduce congestion air pollution and resource depletion boost local economy promote interactions and ensure security the road network created or modified not only for vehicles and public transport but also for pedestrians and cyclists and necessary administrative services are offered within walking or cycling distance then the other smart city features are preserving and developing open spaces for parks playgrounds and recreational spaces in order to enhance the quality of life of citizens reduce urban heat effects in areas and generally promote eco balance 
then the other feature is promoting a variety of transport options transport oriented development public transport and last mile para transport connectivity then another smart city feature is making governance citizen friendly and cost effective this can be done by increasingly relying on online services to bring about accountability and transparency especially using mobiles to reduce cost of services and providing services without having to go to municipal offices coverage and duration the mission will cover 100 cities and its duration is 5 years from 2015-16 to 2019-20 the mission may continue thereafter in the light of evaluation to be done by the ministry of urban development and incorporating the experiences into the mission then strategic plan for smart city mission the strategic constituencies of area based development in the smart cities mission are city improvement that is retrofitting city renewal means redevelopment and city extension in addition to these initiatives have been taken up to create smart solutions to make cities greener under the pan city greenfield development projects now discussing the retrofitting retrofitting is the replanning of an existing already built up area to achieve smart city objectives and make the existing area more well organized and comfortable it is proposed to identify an area containing more than 500 acres in the city in consultation with citizens the city would be turned smart with active participation of citizens and based on the existing level of infrastructure services in the identified areas this model would include more intensive infrastructure service levels with more smart applications due to the already existing structures that are an intact part of the city retrofitting model has benefits of shorter time frame which enable its application in older cities then comes the redevelopment redevelopment is meant by substitution of existing built up environment with correction of a new layout enabled with improved infrastructure this could be done by mixed land use and increased density scheme for development urban local bodies have been given the responsibility to identify an area of more than 70 acres in consultation with the citizens in india redevelopment model has been applied on the safi burai upliftment project in mumbai also called bhendi bazar project and east kidwai nagar in new delhi which were undertaken by the national building construction corporation greenfield development greenfield development has been proposed for smart solutions in a previously vacant area that is more than 250 acres using innovative planning plan financing and plan implementation tools the focus of this model is on the provision of affordable houses especially for the poor greenfield developments are a solution for overcrowded cities that need expansion one well known example of greenfield development is the gift city in gujarat unlike retrofitting and redevelopment greenfield development could be located either within the limits of urban land or the urban land development authority then pan city development pan city development is meant for selected smart solutions to the existing city wide infrastructure this would involve the use of technology information and data to make infrastructure and services better 
For example, application of smart solution in the transport sector may reduce average commute time and cost to citizens which will have positive effects on productivity and quality of life. Another example is the wastewater recycling and smart metering which may make up a substantial contribution to better water management in the city. Then cities selected under smart cities mission. The total number of 100 smart cities have been distributed among the states and UTs on the basis of an equitable criteria. The formula gives equal weightage to urban population of state UT and the number of statutory towns in the state or UT. Based on this formula, each state or UT will therefore have certain number of potential smart cities with each state or UT having at least one. The distribution of smart cities is to be reviewed after two years of the implementation of the mission. This slide shows the cities selected for smart cities in the first phase, then cities selected for phase two. The government of India announces, has announced the list of 27 cities selected to be taken up as development as smart cities in the round two of the smart city programs. The ranking of 27 cities now selected was arrived at through a rigorous process of evaluation by panel of experts. The selection of these cities has been done on merit. The list shows that the mission has spread to the entire country and now includes cities in the northeast and industrial towns such as Rurkela in Odisha. Out of the 36 states or UTs, cities spread across 27 states or UTs, unit territories have been selected so far. So, in the end, I conclude that due to ever increasing pressure of population on the urban areas, there is a need to develop smart cities which should have an holistic approach and sustainable development. It should be in the benefit of the urban citizens to develop the cities in smart base. Thank you.